It's like a nice little little set here if you want to give somebody a little gift, huh? You know, people go to parties, you go to your picnic. This is now this is this is us here, guys, right here. This isn't no, this ain't for no wine and cheese crowd going to the party. Here's a here's wine and some cheese. This is us, man. This is a Pittsburghers. This is a Pittsburghers party gift right here. Hey! I'm at the picnic, I'm here. Here's a little gift for you. Thank you for inviting me. You bring this to the picnic, you're entitled to an extra hamburger, extra hot dog, and when that keg is almost tapped, you're gonna get the last beer. I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. I love this city and its people. I've had the privilege of being on DVE for over two decades. The listeners are like family. This is a show about what it's like when I step away from the mic. It's going to be pure Pittsburgh. Some laughs, some stories, no BS, raw. Yeah. Fireworks. Now this is the the ultimate, the ultimate fireworks retailer and wholesaler. You know it's uh it's funny, man. You could I don't care if you if you like graduated from Oxford or something. You have a, uh, a British accent, man. When you get into fireworks. You, you just start talking like Larry the Cable Guy or something. I don't know what it is. Get her done. You just die. You know what I mean? It's like no matter what. You could be like very proper. Right? You could these. I got to have some Lucky Nights. That's good stuff there. <laughs> lucky Nights, man. Pittsburgh Extreme, baby. Black and gold. Right here. This is me. This is Stanley Pekachowski's right here. Pittsburgh Extreme. This goes up black and gold. You fire this up, man. Up in the sky. The steel logo lights up. You better genuflect after I like this one. You understand? Thank you. They're so nice here. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's family run operation and Junior, uh, you're gonna make me weep. Gave me a gift. Naughty dog. Firecracker. His little light in the, in the fire uh, comes out of his little butt, and uh, you know I am with dogs and, and all. And thanks, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. We are in the ultimate fireworks store, obviously. Our friends, F and V, get anything and everything that you need. These are Major League Fireworks. I am ready now for my picnic. I am ready to become a Junior Zambelli. Very excited about that. As a matter of fact, we're about, we're about 20 minutes from the Zambelli facility. I think we should go up and say hello and maybe I get a few tips. Maybe we get a little peek behind the curtain on how the pros do it. Huh? I'll even bring the naughty dog. I'll show off a little bit. We'll see. Unbelievable operation. I get to see you behind the scenes, man. Well, you know, I grew up watching these fireworks. We're gearing up. It's going to be a big 4th of July, and uh, we're prepared. Big summer, right? It's going to be a great summer. Pittsburgh loves their fireworks, don't they? Nowhere in the world do they like fireworks more than Pittsburgh. And, uh, They've been entertained and spoiled with my family's magic for a uh, hundred years. hundred years, man. You're, you're the king. You're like the king of fireworks. Uh, we, we, we work hard at it. I know. A, I can't wait to see, man. you got to show me the little behind-the-scenes action, huh? I can't wait. We'll do that. Maybe, Maybe. I can make a, make a, a firework. We're going to have you sign some papers because uh, in case oh. anything happens to you, we don't want to be really responsible. Uh, I gotta, uh, yeah, you know, my yeah. money makers, my piano uh, playing. If it happens, you piano. won't. Don't worry about the fingers. <laughs> you won't need them. I won't need them anyway. Oh, okay. There you go. 
So you're, you're in charge of, of uh, uh, organizing uh, everything or building these no, things? No, you're you're building the building. You're the guy. Sure. No. You're the man. So you put these things together. together. For the big... There all these buildings up there. It was all woods when I came out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he built the operation. Years. He built the plan. You're kidding. Uh -huh. yeah. well, what an interesting thing to start a business in. Though. What would make you know you and, and, and George... Well, I, and actually, it was that, their though. father. It was their father's dad. Right. Right. Your... Right. His dad brought his pyrotechnic dream from Italy in 1893 to America wow. and he actually worked in the steel mills at night yeah. and uh, was kind of a hobbyist in, in the day and he started making fireworks and before you know it started a little company and my dad and Lou took it over back in the 50s and yep. uh, the, as I say the sky has wow. been the limit. Has anyone, anyone requested to have their ashes of a, of a relative oh, yeah. uh -huh. put in the farm. No, not a relative, but friends we, we had to do it. We put in the bomb and throw it up in the air, and when it bust open, then they was uh, it. Yeah. The, the, uh, the writer, Hunter Thompson, yeah. Yeah. we put his ashes up in the air at his uh, memorial in Colorado. Okay. His wife actually came here with the ashes and worked with the guys here in the plant, uh -huh. um, putting them in the shells. Really? This is one of our larger uh, magazines. Yeah. This holds... 14 tractor trailer loads of fireworks. Wow. Just this one building. <clears throat> and we have over 100 buildings out here. So you can imagine this is the largest firework inventory in the United States, maybe the world. Right. And uh, this is one of the things that differentiates us from other companies because we have variety that no one else that, has, man. No one else has. Eight break uh, six inch spider web, spider web, man. and uh, this will go up and, and break eight times into spider webs. And uh, wow, man, this is I a, love the spider web. That's a cool look, man. But why don't you show them how you yeah. tie and, yeah. and oh. the hand craftsmanship and the labor of love? Yeah. These, these, are, these are pretty powerful. These things, huh? So, needless to say, you don't do your smoke break in here. No, that'd be the uh, you know, that would be bad. Look at these, things. yeah, wow. You could smell like oh, the, the, smell the, the powder. right yeah. when you're a kid in the cap guns oh, and stuff. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 My wife used to haul it time. She said, well, "Your hair always stinks of powder." What do you want me to do? I put my hands in the powder. We mix powder with the help. All day long. No, all day long. You're a one flammable yeah. guy. Yeah, that's that's it, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make a mistake. I'm sure with this that's stuff. That's right. If a mistake is made, yeah. people get hurt, right? Now, see what I'm stripping now. I'm stripping this fuse back. Okay. Yeah, and I'll show you when we put it in the bucket. Okay. It looks like some like onions or something yeah. like that, huh? Yeah, like three inch onions. Little so onions. Now this is the powder. Yeah. Now this is one ounce. Okay. That's because what's under the, there. Huh? That's what's underneath mm -hmm. that thing, and that lifts now, this, this, this thing up. You want to make sure you put your lift charge on the face oh. going down. Okay, that could be a problem, right? It could be. That's not good. Oh. And then they shoot up 100, what is it, 100, what is it, 100 feet or something like that a second? Or whatever. Uh, it, it, they, they go fast. They well, go no, fast. that's this. Uh, that's this fuse that lights off. It uh, goes at 100 foot a second. Okay. And um, the one you do is you, you tuck in your fuse because if this is actually your finale, you'll have you know a long set of all of these tied together on your slat for the electronic computer to you know the electronic Locks. board or the computer to fire. Could you imagine your grand your grandfather though? Remember at the point or whatever, man. They used to do that all by hand, him and Lou. That must have been a wild time, man. And then they used to use dynamite. Yeah. I mean, real sticks and Close, close calls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two or three of them. Two or three of them? Mm -hmm. What happened? What, made, what was the worst? Well, what what, what, what what happened? when you're shooting dynamite, boy, you're asking for trouble. And if I had to do it all over again like today, yeah. never. We used to go right through the city of Pittsburgh with cats in the dynamite. Bombs going up in the air and bombs on the ground still with dynamite. We had to be crazy. <laughs> but see, them days, if you didn't break windows and everything, you didn't get to show it. In, in one of these buildings, uh, as you'll notice, they're all separated. They have you know, distances between them. Mm -hmm. That's because they're uh, reinforced concrete walls with very weak roofs. The roofs are made with wood um, so that in the event of an accident, um, the blast would hopefully send a lot of power up before it goes out. I see, Jared, so just, all right. So they're, they're, spray, made, they're made to, to, to fail, but they're made to fail hopefully upward first, and then the walls will come down, mm. and that will hopefully keep you safe in the other buildings right. while other people are working. So there's not a chain reaction, because there's so explosives no and reaction. everything. Okay. Exactly. After all these years, you still like looking at them? Oh, yeah. I used to dream about them every night. 
Yeah. Hey, Brenda, the fly works out most every night. You wouldn't believe it. God bless you, Luke. Yeah. I like that, man. Yeah, I, I love fireworks. We all love fireworks in Pittsburgh. So we were talking about that earlier, George and I. It's a, that's, a, that's a Pittsburgh thing, isn't it? Pittsburghers love their fireworks. Oh, Pittsburgh is the best. I was around the world twice. Yeah. I shot for seven presidents. You can't beat the people in Pittsburgh. Yeah. 80, 85. 85. God 85. bless you, man. Mm -hmm. that's a, that's and I'd go home and work, too. Do stuff around the house. I got a feeling you're like that, that kind of guy. That's what keeps you young, brother. That's why you got... Uh, so got that, I don't, that I don't kick. watch television, read the paper, and then football and, and hockey is my home. Okay. That's it. That's a true Pittsburgh, right? Football and hockey. You grew okay, up in the now, you grew up in this area your whole life. Oh, yeah. Newcastle. In Newcastle. Yeah. Now this is the lighter. Now this can this can right here. Mm -hmm. The electric when they're on a computer, they can put it here, and if they don't have an electric show, okay. they can shoot this by hand. And there's a time fuse from here to here to light that gets you a time to get away. Did you say shoot it by hand? Yeah. yeah. They, well, I always, shoot the, I always shoot by hand. You I, go old uh, school by hand? I go by the old style. <laughs> this computer shit uh, is too, too much. Because one mistake you make, the whole show can go. So what oh, we're yeah. going to do is I'm going to have you turn on the fire button. Fire button on! Okay, so now that uh, you can hear the beeping from this, but you can also hear the beeping from the module, mm -hmm. that means it's live. Live. So, uh, when you when you're uh, what I hit one and two or hit one? when you're ready hit one and uh, one and then hit two. Clear. So what we have this is old school. Uh, George's grandfather uh, used this uh, a far cry from the computer uh, days, man. A brave man, Grandpa was, huh? I mean, different they, safety uh, issues they, back they then. They smoked stronger cigars back then too. <laughs> they were tough guys, man. <laughs> So he'd have them all set up. This would be connected to uh, the fireworks. How far away would he be? Oh, he he would probably be about 100, 150 feet. So back close. back then, they used to lay sticks of dynamite on the ground okay. to get the reverberations and the the real feel. Get people excited. So um, those you'd be maybe 300 feet from, and this is the way they'd fire them. Okay. But you could also shoot a. Uh, a grand finale with this, and you could have five or ten of these lined up. And, right, right. Uh, people changing wires while you're going down the line. It was quite different than it is today, but but technologically, we still were ahead of the game even back then. I gotta tell you, it's the second time today that I feel like the, the coyote from the Red Runner, Tony. We're not ready yet, though. Are we, we're not, are we ready yet, or are we we're ready? We're hooked in. I'm excited. Get ready, guys. Here we go. How many Three Stooges episodes did you see this thing in? I'm getting good flashbacks. Come on, big, I like to do them all. You ready? I got to tell you, an incredible day today, talking to uh, George Zimbelli, son Jared, met their uncle, Uncle Lou. What, what nice people, man. Just genuine, genuine, kind people. The first uh, first family of fireworks here in, 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 uh, in the burg. The first family of fireworks. Yeah, that's, that's definitely them. Is uh, You got a little peek behind the curtain. I want to thank them. Hope you enjoyed it. I did, man. I had a great time. Just seeing all that stuff. Felt like uh, a few times. Like the coyote in the Roadrunner. Enjoyed myself. Hope you did too. That's the season finale. What other way are we going to end it, right? Season one, we got to go with a bang. And there's no other way to go with a bang than with the Zimbalis. <laughs>